Hey, good morning. This is a video that's going to help with uh, how to create a pie chart, how to develop a pie chart on using Connect. All right, to start off here, the first question they ask us is, is that based on the data that we're given here and these particular numbers, we need to establish which one of these is a correct format for a pie chart. So without doing any work, we can clearly see that uh, letter A is called a horizontal bar graph. Uh, option B right here is going to be a time series graph. And letter C is going to be a histogram. And letter D is going to be a, a pie graph. Okay, so we kind of can see that from when we start off. Now, one question might be is how do we get these percentages? Okay, so let's take a look at that. Right, I'm not going to take the time to calculate all of them, but we'll go through and look at what the general idea is. All right, sorry, just a moment. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we need to find out our total quantity that we have in this particular study. So if we take those numbers right there and we add them up, we have 360 plus 271 plus 394 plus 179 for a grand total of 1,204. So what we have to remember is, is that when we talk about fractions, a fraction is a part of a whole. And basically, fractions are one step away from forming a percentage. So what we're going to do here is we want to find out, um, you know, in this particular case, if we want to find a percentage. Now, now notice that these aren't actually the same numbers that this is talking about personal business and this down here is talking about marital status but what we see is that if we want to find that percentage we would take for example for personal business so our personal business percent would be to take the 360 and divide it by the whole so find out what part of the whole that I have when I take 360 and I divide it by 1204, I come out with a decimal equal to 0.299. Now, if I take that number right there and I multiply it by 100, as in 100%, we come out with a percentage of 29.9. percent So that's how they're going to get the percentages if you needed to. Okay, so now th that would be part one. So, you know, for completing this for the quiz then or for the suggested homework, what we do first is we identify that, sure enough, this is a pie graph. Okay, then we go on to the second part. The second part of the question actually says they want us to construct. So using this information they have give, they want us to construct a pie graph. Now, in this case here, our whole quantity is 360 degrees. So as we go across, that's 360 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate for each one of these guys. Now remember here, the, the sum is still 1,204. So each time, we're going to come through here and we're going to take 360 and divide it by 1,204. But then we're going to take that number that we get, we're going to get that fraction right there, and we're going to multiply it by 360 degrees because what we're essentially doing is we're finding out like saying like here's doing it's an example if i said i wanted half of 360 and that would be equal to 180 degrees because that would be half of the circle or if i wanted a quarter of 360 degrees that would be equal to 90 degrees. So that's essentially what we're doing here. Is we're taking and figuring out what part of the whole we have, and of that part of the whole, we're going to figure out what portion of the pie, what portion of this circular quantity right here, we get to fill up with our business, personal business. Okay, I'm going to hit pause for just a moment. Okay. When I multiply that out, I came out with 107.6 degrees. 
Okay, so I'll go ahead and do another one so we have a couple more to work with. So let's do 271 divided by 1204. We're going to multiply that by 360. All right, I'm going to hit pause again. It didn't look like I actually hit pause, so sorry about that. So I'm going to keep on rolling forward here. So if I take 271 um, and divide it by 1204 and multiply that by 360, I just want to show you how I put this in my calculator. So I would take 271 and I would divide it by 1204. I would press enter. And then most calculators that we have at this point, if you just take, say multiply, then what it does is it takes this previous answer and multiplies it times whatever you like, so I times 360. And so at this point, we find out that that is going to be 81.0, and, and I mean, it's 3 degrees. So basically, we know it's going to be a little bit more than 81. Okay, so I'm going to hit pause this time for real, and I'll be right back. All right, and while you're going, I went ahead and calculated the rest of the, of the degrees that we would need. So let's go ahead and go on in. Um, I'm going to jot these numbers down on my paper, and so then that way I have them at hand when we're looking at them um, on the actual Connect software. Alright, I also want to make a note that, notice here on uh, the visit friends and relatives, I actually had 81.03. Uh, we want to round that to the nearest tenth, so that means that that tenth was a zero, so it would just be 81 degrees. Alright, so I just want to make sure that I clarify that for any confusion in the future. All right, so let's go ahead and go to connect, and let's take a look at how I would set this up. All right, so here we go. All right, so this is a similar problem. I've already worked one out, and so I can't go back to the same number, so I'm just going to show you how I would set it up. Uh, let's see. All right, so our personal business was 107.6 degrees. So that means that we're going to select this guy. It says they want us to draw the ending boundary line. So we come from the ending from the center out. If that's 90, that would be 100, and that would be 110. We have 107.6. So 107.6 go from the center, and 107.6 should be somewhere in that vicinity right there. Okay. Uh, then at that point, we go on to the next one. The next one was 81. Okay, so that means, and this is kind of confusing because now we have to count 81 from there. So we're going to go ahead and leave that little gap there for just a second. Let's count 80. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So if I was to kind of go as precise as I possibly could, I would basically say it would be about right there. And that distance right there should be 81 degrees. Okay, I go to the next one, work-related. Work-related should have been um, 117. Let me come back real quick. Yeah, that's right. Okay, work-related should have been 117.8. Now, at this point, we can do the same thing. Count here. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120 and we're going to 117.6 so we'll come from the center and we'll come you know about right there maybe all right the last one leisure should be 53 so we kind of 53 and a half so we got 1 10 20 30 40 50 all right so we go ahead and say that one would go from here 
to there. That would be the ending. So let's go back and work backwards now. Let's see if this actually makes sense. If I know that leisure, the last one right here, should be 53.5%, so that's 5, 10, I'm sorry, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and some change, that looks pretty decent. Okay, and then I know that work-related, the next section of the pie, should be 117.8. Okay, so I would say we maybe could move this just a little bit. All right, so let's count that now. So there's our 7, 7.8 7 right there. So that 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110. So you put it all together, that would be 117.8. We go back to this section right here, which was visit friends and relatives. That should have been 81. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and some change. And then last but not least, our first one should have been 107.6. So we count our way. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and some change. All right, now, if I hit check on this right now, it's not going to work because I actually have different numbers. I'll show you. I had to go into a different problem, so my numbers are slightly different there. But um, that's the idea of how you set it up and how you should get to your answer. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make this comment as I close the video. Please make sure that if it comes to suggested homework, that after you do this problem, if you submit that homework or that quiz, then I can go back and I can check your graph. And if your graph is correct, but it counted it wrong, okay, if the computer counted it wrong, I can give you credit for the graph. Okay, So if you're off and you tried it once or twice and it's not, giving, it's not going correctly, then if you feel confident about your answer, then just email me after the quiz or suggested homework and tell me, I got this, I have these percentages, I followed your procedure. All right, that was a video on making pie graphs um, inside of Connect.